Makes you wanna sway to the left and sway to the right. Get lost in a groove that'll make you lose your mind. Put a smile on your face and you ride into a daze. No, there ain't nothing wrong when a song comes on. Hey guys welcome back to my channel real quick I just want to say that I got this super cute fall letter decorations from Hobby Lobby I will link it down below if you're interested quick disclaimer I am a little sick so my voice doesn't sound the best so I apologize in advance for the annoyance to start my centerpiece I'm gonna get my spray painting done I found a big bag of pumpkins and squash at the thrift store for like two bucks and I'm just spray painting them gold and white with a little bit of glitter to match my theme. So the next part, I'm actually making the basket. If you have a basket already or you want to buy one, you can totally go ahead and do that. But I wanted this to be like super DIY, everything from scratch. So I took this cardboard box, probably from something I ordered on Amazon, and I cut off three of the flaps. Two of the long ones that you see here and then one short side flap. So one of the long ones is going to be the bottom of my basket and then I'm taking the other one that matches the same length and I'm just splitting it right down the middle to be my two sides. I'm cutting off any like little frayed edge or bent curved edge. As you can see I'm just using an X-Acto knife to cut right down the center. Those will be my two sides and then I'm cutting off the like bent edge on the bottom as well to match and fit. Then for my two shorter sides, I'm taking that short flap and just cutting that down the middle so obviously those heights will all be the same and then I'm just measuring it up to my box bottom to see how long. I'm leaving this one a little longer on each side so that my two long ones have something to adhere to as well just so it fits together nicely. So you'll have two small ones, two long ones, and then your bottom piece. I'm using hot glue to adhere this because I felt like that was the quickest and the most secure. You could use other glues, but what I like about hot glue is it dries quickly so I could complete the whole box without waiting for each flap to dry. So I'm using this tape dispenser box to just hold my sides up as I glue them just to give me a little added pressure. And then once I glue it to the bottom, I put the tape dispenser up next to it and I glue the seam as well just so it's extra extra secure. I let that dry for like five minutes and then I move down to the sides do not do what I'm doing here where I try to glue the whole piece because by the time I got to one side, the hot glue on the other side was dry and it wouldn't stick. So instead, glue one side down and then work in sections like this. And then after I do that, I go along the seams, the outside, kind of just secure everything. Let that dry for like 20 minutes and move on to this step, which is fun but tedious. I would advise you put a show on or a movie. All I'm doing here is hot gluing this jute rope that I got from the dollar store all the way around until the entire box is covered, which kind of turns it into my basket. It's kind of like a quick little hack instead of actually weaving a basket, but it just gives it this like rustic, cool, very fall basket look, and I love it. I'm just cutting off any like frayed pieces. You could skip this step, but because I'm a perfectionist, I didn't want to be able to see any of the inside or the hot glue, and I thought that this like metallic -y orange paper that I got from Hobby Lobby for super cheap would really give it like a finished touch because it would shine through and make it look very fallish. So I'm just lining the inside with this paper and I'm using some super glue, super 77 spray, whatever to adhere it. And then I got these gold push pins from the dollar store and I'm just using that to line the inside and it looks hella fancy like look how fancy this box looks <laughs> and you made it from a cardboard box now you're just gonna line the inside with some candles I got from the dollar store leaves I got from the dollar store pumpkins that I spray paid from the thrift store some potpourri some beads just whatever you want make it look festive make it look seasonal and there you go centerpiece done I'll tell you one thing your family will be thankful for your centerpiece.
So when I thought of this one, I thought it was so cute and so amazing for Thanksgiving. I bought one glass from, where do you think, the dollar store, for each person coming to my family Thanksgiving dinner. And I'm gonna clean them off real quick. And I have these stickers left over from last Christmas, but you can go to any craft store and buy these stickers. Or you could just get a metallic marker or a Sharpie and you can write people's names or you can do what I'm doing here where each of these words that came on here really, you know, like inspirational, blessed, joy, uh, miracle, faith, whatever. I'm picking a word that reminds me of a certain person in my family and I'm just decorating the glasses with whatever these are. These little swirly doohickey things that make them look really fancy, but it's really cheap, so it's not fancy. I mean, they're from the dollar store, but no one has to know that. Once you're done decorating them, I went online and I just made these little quotes and printed them out. So for one glass, I had the word blessed. So I wrote a note to my mom saying how I'm so blessed to have her as a mother. <laughs> Daughter of the Year Award goes to me. And then another one says joy. So I made a note with the word joy about my brother. Folding them up, making them all cute, putting some little Valentine stickers that I got at the dollar store. And then I'm going to take this tissue paper that I got at the dollar store. I wish it had orange because it would match better, but I just chose pink. And I'm wrapping up my little personalized notes in them and I'm stuffing them in the glass. Now you can put one for each person at where they're sitting and they can open up and see this cute little note that you wrote for them. And it's so sweet and it's so appropriate for Thanksgiving. You are gonna win all sorts of points with this one. So <laughs> you're welcome. Baby, you a little mind, baby, you a little mind reader Yeah, that's what you are You play it all a little shy, but baby, you're a heart stealer And right here in this car, it's like you knew that smile was gonna melt me down Like you know those lips are what I'm needing right now And girl, when you... I'm sure you've seen this one before, but all I'm doing is making a rope ball I'm using some rope I got from the dollar store and my hot glue gun, and that's it I'm using a bowl that I'd like my bowl to resemble the shape of and wrapping it around it. Let it dry for a bit and you're good to go. You could use this for anything. It's very fall appropriate. And how cool to serve all these dishes in handmade rope bowls. Like, come on! If he ever singles you up, if he's ever stupid enough, I'm gonna be the first one calling you baby. This one is pretty self-explanatory, but I'm just using some extra pumpkins that I had left over from my centerpiece, putting them in a clear vase that I got from the dollar store to make decorations. Using clear vases is such a good way to make decorations for each holiday because you can reuse them and you can put anything in them. One idea would be potpourri. It's very seasonal, very festive, and also can make your place smell good. Just add a couple drops of essential oil to your potpourri and voila! I'll put a real So this one's super simple as well, but I wanted to throw it in there because I saw this little leaf candle holder at the dollar store. It was like a tan beige color, so I spray painted it gold along with all my other decorations. And another option is to take some of this like glitter cardboard scrapbooking paper I had and kind of line the inside with it to give it, you know, an extra oomph, an extra something. I also cut a small piece for the inside top portion just because, like I said, I'm a perfectionist. I don't want to be able to see the white, so I just cut a smaller little strip and put that on the inside. You could skip the glitter paper, but I just think it makes it a little extra special. Add a dollar store candle and you're done. Oh, senorita, can nothing be sweeter than you in that white wedding dress? Leaving that church in the limousine. This one is more of a hack I wanted to throw in there, but I love finding little trays and dishes from thrift stores for super cheap. This was a buck, 
and it was brown and scratched up so I just sanded it and spray painted it gold to refresh it. You could use it to put wrapped candy or more decorations or desserts. It's a very nice finishing touch to just round off your table for your holiday.